All right, welcome to a new episode of Real Estate vs. Technology. I'm your host, Norman Kinsey. Today, we're going to be meeting another real estate professional who's utilizing YouTube to be able to build a know, like, and trust and to be able to earn potentially business. So super excited about this one today. Let's go ahead and bring in our co-host, Mr. Dan Gandy. What's up, Dan? Hey, hey. Welcome back. How was your vacation, man? It was, uh, it was amazing. So, awesome. Awesome. Good to be back. No to all of our viewers and listeners, take some time for yourself and uh, <laughs> take some time off. So uh, we'll be right back with you all. Let's go ahead and uh, kick off the show with our intro. Welcome to a new episode of Real Estate First Technology, your number one resource to get the inside scoop from top performing real estate professionals. How are they growing their business utilizing technology in today's market? Hear also from top performing coaches that can help and serve you and your real estate business and also technology providers. Let's go deeper with these technology providers to ask them how they got where they're at today and how maybe their services could better serve your real estate business. A big shout out to Liftoff Agent for sponsoring our podcast. Go ahead and go to liftoffagent.com to learn about their marketing and positioning services to help scale your real estate business. If you haven't already done so, like the episode, subscribe. We want you to comment on YouTube what you learned from the episode and give us a review if you're going to be listening and streaming this podcast. Thank you so much. We we appreciate you and enjoy this week's podcast of Real Estate First Technology. All right. Welcome back, Dan. And okay. uh, just going to go ahead and put emphasis on the fact for all the reviewers and listeners out there, this individual is not just a real estate professional. This individual also owns a marketing firm. So we're going to be able to go deeper with techniques, processes behind marketing and video. It's a really cool video actually on his YouTube channel that I checked out. So let's go ahead and bring it in, shall we, Dan? Let's do it. All right, we have the only one, Eric, on the show. Welcome to Real Estate vs. Technology. I appreciate your vibe, man. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Glad yeah. to be here. Yeah, most definitely. So I see you're a father of five, you're a husband, you're an award-winning real estate professional, and you're in the Greenberry Realtor area. That's going to be Texas, I believe? Yeah, it is in Texas. We're outside of Fort Worth, about 30 miles south. I love that, man. I love that. Well, today's show is all about you and your business. We really want to put emphasis on YouTube as we believe YouTube is going to be kicking off and, and just taking a lot of market share from a standpoint of people looking to potentially move to Texas, wanting to find information or see homes and see various different things about the community and potentially be able to sell upon a YouTube channel. Maybe maybe it's yours. So let's get into your backstory, man. How long have you been in the business leading up to where you're at now? Because I know you have a couple things you have going on. It sounds like you're an investor, you're real estate professional and you also have your uh, your marketing company as well yeah for sure i'm definitely one of those serial entrepreneur types uh i just love i love new things i love starting new things um but as far as real estate goes i'm actually a really big newbie uh i'm i've been okay. in real estate for like a year and a half so i have not been in the game very long um but the the backstory of that i was i've had a marketing agency for the past six years coming up on seven and within our marketing agency, we looked up one day and we were like, okay, our clientele is basically realtors, builders, anything to do with the housing market, plumbers, electricians, like all these things. And so wow. I, I had a lot of experience and a lot of just kind of seeing behind the scenes, you know, behind the curtains, what did it look like for people to do real estate? Mm -hmm. And I was doing everything. I mean, we were doing for, for big builders, which we do a lot more now, but for big builders, we were literally running all their marketing things and we were doing everything except selling their houses so one day i was like <laughs> okay this is ridiculous i'm missing the most money making potential income you know level right here in actually being the realtor on the deal so that's kind of what got me in the, with the idea of like you know what i should i should do this i love that it kind of reminds me of your story dan as on the on the liftoff agent side marketing agency for real estate professionals who sponsors the show and then dan got his real estate license he's crashing it up in oregon doing his thing so anyone who's listening and viewing don't leave any money on the table <laughs> <laughs> that's right man uh, i love that so so what made you want to kick off your youtube channel and get get kicked off with that and showcasing these houses and, and how's it working out for you so far yeah. So I, I mean, we have a big video background. We, we make a ton of videos. We travel all over the U S we, I mean, I most recently went to Coronado. We work with the city of Coronado down in California and made wow. some video stuff for them. And yeah, we, we, we get a lot of, uh, a lot of those projects. So it's been really cool. Um, so video is kind of my background uh, before I had a marketing agency. I was a actually a creative pastor at a church for 14 years. That's what I did, um, wow. for a long time. And so my, my, 
role was kind of overseeing all things uh, creative, all things Sunday morning. We had multiple campuses uh, kind of over the marketing side of getting people to come to church and like look at church in a different way than a traditional church of what, what you would expect. And so, yeah. um, so I just had a lot of experience in that world. Uh, but I, so I knew immediately when I got into real estate that video was going to be the thing in my market. I'm in Granberry. Most people haven't heard of Granberry. Granberry is a super small town. The city limits is like 10,000 people. Uh, the county of Hood County is like 70,000. So the, the actual county is a little bit bigger. But uh, overall, it's a fairly small area. And so it's a lot of kind of old school thinking, old school um, real estate models. Mm-hmm. And so my goal immediately was like, I'm going to get in here and I'm going to do videos. I'm going to do this very different. So that's that's what made me start with the video thing. And of course, you know, YouTube's always been in the background of yeah. something that I, I wanted to do more of. But I had such a following on on Facebook and, um, you know, Facebook, I'm tapped out however many followers you can have or whatever on your personal page. Uh, and so then I was like, well, I better start growing my Instagram page. And I was like, well, I better do YouTube at the same time. And so I'm just I'm really just trying to, you, you know, they talk about like painters being the worst, their house is the worst painted house in the block. That's kind of how I've been as a marketer for a long time. Cause I've just been so focused on all of our clients and then getting into real estate. I was like, no, I'm not going to do that with myself in real estate. So that's when I started, you know, really getting after it. I love that, man. That's so true. And it's awesome. Cause I see what you're doing here. And I would have thought you've been in real estate forever. And then maybe you did what you did with the, the marketing agency, but it's awesome that learning now live on the show that it was the opposite and definitely yeah. makes a lot of sense how sometimes we forget about ourselves because we're putting others first. So I love that. That's super cool. Now that's synergy. I, I was going to say there's a lot of uh, overlap in the story. I came from the building industry and, and doing the marketing for design, build and new construction and those types of things. And, and uh, when you were working with realtors outside of the realtor space, like you have a different mm-hmm perspective of when you walk into that industry, especially when you're trying to do video content, because you're like, hey, I've seen everything else that's been pretty cliche. I want to stay yep. out of cliche <laughs> and I want to be yep. able to, to give value and and be as raw as possible because that's going to attract the real clients. Exactly. And that, that was my whole my whole goal in real estate has been uh, just do different than everybody else. I literally have. So one of the things is a little outside of YouTube, but I have uh, two billboards in the town. So our town, again, it's pretty small, but there's one big highway that goes all the way down, you know, through the town and, uh, you know, 30,000 people drive it per day. And so there's a digital billboard there. I have a spot on the digital billboard and I have this billboard that says I have two. One says not your typical realtor. So I'm literally just saying like, I'm literally not your typical realtor. The other just says, blah, blah, blah. Just use me as your realtor. So it's literally like, I'm trying to, everyone's just full of noise. All these real estate agents put all their, you know, 20 years experience this blah, blah, who cares? No one cares. So I, that's yeah. literally just like, blah, blah, blah. Just use me as your realtor. So try to keep it different. I love, love that. I love that. I know, Dan, you have a billboard too. <laughs> it's a gigantic billboard on the, once again, the highway that cuts right through my town. And yep. uh, it just, all it says is exitorgan.com <laughs> with my head. Nice. Love it. <laughs> so uh, it, it helps drive traffic back to our website. And while there's another realtor right behind my billboard that's been there for three years, and it's like 4.5% <laughs> listing fee, years of experience, integrity. Uh, <laughs> it's brutal. It's brutal. Yeah. Yeah. So I try to be the hip young guy that's like, hey, yep. come to my website, check us out, look at our videos. Like, we're here to help you. So, exactly. Yep. Yeah. I love that. That's super cool. So what is uh what are some of your goals, aspiration for the YouTube channel? You know, any viewers, listeners out there that want to subscribe, check you out, links are all down below and they want to follow your journey. What are what's some things over the horizon that you want to really do with your YouTube channel then over the next 12 months? Yeah. So do you guys listen to Alex Hermosi by chance? Yep. So love that guy. He's, I mean, just a, I wish I was half as smart as he is, but like, I love following his channel and stuff. And so one of the things that, that he talks about is, is literally putting, you know, people have these goals in mind where they're like, I have this goal. I want to have this many subscribers. I want to have this many, whatever. Um, He said, but really, if you can stop doing that and have the mindset of just doing the activities that result in the goal, then you're going to be much better off. So if you take the gym, you go to the gym, you know, I, 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 I'm like a serial weight losser, uh, not serial. I don't eat cereal, to lose weight, but I like will lose weight and then I'll gain it and then I'll lose it and then I'll gain it. I've probably lost like 12,000 pounds over my life. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> I just keep gaining it back. So, uh, so, but it's like one of the mindsets of like, if you go to gym 
and you're like, I'm going to lose 30 pounds. Well, the, you work out for three days and you don't lose anything. Then you're like, Oh, this isn't working. I'm just going to go home. But if you just keep doing the activities, the things that like, you know, if you eat well and you work out, you will get there eventually. So quit worrying about the goal and just worrying about doing the activities that lead to the goal. So for me, that's what it is with YouTube. I'm just in a spot where I'm just like, I've just got to do the thing. Like, I mean, it's, it's defeating. Sometimes it feels like, or it used to be defeating. It's not so much anymore because I know that these are the activities that lead to the goal. But like the video you referred to earlier, Norman, like the, the one with the, with the car, uh, that video is, you know, in my mind, it's such a cool video, like spent a good amount of money and have my videographer come out and do all these cool shots. And we went to all these cool places and, uh, I have this really cool car and it's not like the video has like, hundreds of thousands of views it's just like okay well yeah. i just know that i just got to put it out there and we'll just move on to the next one and do it again we'll move on to the next one do it again and you know they're going to catch steam and it's going to happen i just have to keep doing the activities to get there so that's really been my my goal for the next 12 months is to not stop that's really my only goal is to just don't stop whatever it is don't stop doing it i love that's, that i was going to say that that goal is is one of the hardest goals to accomplish like i was consistently at two videos a week for youtube and then uh, we got super busy with transactions and I was going on vacation and like I shot videos, but I had forgot to use the scheduling feature. <laughs> yep. So I literally oh, like, I just like kicked myself in the butt this morning about this. Cause I was like, literally, I was like, what am I doing? I got like four videos in my phone, which was the last like four weeks. Yep. Ah. I didn't upload them <laughs> and push schedule. Like that was the one small component of, I did the content. I was consistent with it. I had mm -hmm. it done. But what I did is implementation and execution. I forgot to schedule that. Yep. That's <laughs> exactly. So, yeah. Uh, one question for me is like having this diverse experience of both marketing houses, realtors, contractors, taking that marketing component and injecting it into a YouTube strategy, right? Like for actual conversion. What a, What is like, what is your call to action plan in terms of getting people to turn into clients? or getting people to turn into subscribing, liking, following, everything. Yeah. So I'm kind of, kind of take the model that I use on other, other channels. So like Facebook's probably my most successful channel just because uh, the town I live in, the, the P I'm on like the board of uh, the chamber board of commerce. I'm on the hospital board. I was involved, you know, like I said, started the largest church around here. Like I've, I know a lot of people from all those things. And, and most of those yeah. people will, you know, add you on Facebook, that kind of deal. As far as YouTube goes, it's just a whole different animal. Like it's just not, it's not like, you know, I've got 5,000 friends on Facebook, but then subscribers on YouTube. It's like, cool. I got a couple hundred. And I keep trying to talk people into subscribe. I'm like, come on guys, come subscribe, you know? Uh, <laughs> and so like, it's, it's one of those things of like the strategy is very different, but at the same time, my, my, my goal in all of this, my strategy is going to be um, to film these neighborhood videos, film uh, uh, individual home videos. And some of these are going to be I'm really after builders. That's one thing I should clarify. I work a lot with builders. New construction has been my thing um, since I started. And it's really it's really been my thing because I already had these clients at the marketing agency. So I, I, I'm very yeah. familiar with builders and how they work and what their pain points are and what their strengths are and and all these things. And so, you know, my, my first year in real estate, uh, I was able to do 18 million dollars in sales my very first year. But it happened wow. because of builders. It happened because of getting in with them. But my strategy with them was, hey, we'll this. Sorry, this is going a little bit outside of YouTube, but I'll get back You're to good. the YouTube. Um, but my strategy with them has, has been, hey, my marketing company can do for you for free, zero costs. We're not going to charge you anything. We're going. I just want a full commission, though, because builders don't want to sure. pay full commission to most realtors. They're like, I'll do two percent. We'll do whatever. But they won't pay like a full six percent commission most of the time. However, um, you know, when you go in with a different perspective and you say, hey, I'm going to provide all this value. I'm literally going to build you a website or, or redo your website. I'm going to run your social media pages. I'm going to go and get behind the scenes of your builder, your contractors. I'm going to go and do all these things on video. And all I expect, though which is kind of a lot, but when you see the, the trade-off, it makes sense, is that I get commission on everything, everything you do. And so it depends on the builder. You know, we, we work with some that where we have the model of like, we literally do 100% of your marketing, but every single deal that comes through, you, whether it came from my phone number being rung or your phone number, you know, somebody just called the office 
we're going to assume that it came from our marketing efforts. And so we're going to be commissioned on that. So that's one model. And then over here we work with other builders where it's like, Hey, you know, I want to list these four houses for you or whatever that may be, but they know that I'm going to spend thousands of more dollars on their creativity, on the ads, on all those things. And so they're, they're much more willing um, to use me as their realtor and pay a full commission because of that. And so that's really been the model that's been working for me. So with YouTube, I'm taking all that video content that we make and just continuing to put it out there over and over and over. And I'm, and my goal is to really be um, neighborhood and builder centric. So if I'm going into a neighborhood, for instance, I uh, just got these two listings with this builder and in, in a pretty nice neighborhood. And so it's two, two listings on two different streets, but in the same neighborhood, I'm going to be making a neighborhood video, but the highlight homes in the neighborhood video will be of those builders homes. So the builders all excited because I'm making, you know, extra content for them. People looking for what it would be like to live in this neighborhood. Hopefully the goal would be for them to find me on YouTube if they're looking up YouTube, Google, different things like that, and seeing these videos. So that's kind of my goal as far as like the strategy goes behind that. I think that may have answered wow. your question. That is a really good strategy. Well, you have a unique advantage too. So let's correct. Yeah. Let's remove that from the equation. But <laughs> that uh that you know, most realtors are just trying to provide the digital mayor methodology, right? Like just becoming mm-hmm. in and talking about everything, but you're literally like, all right, so I'm not only going to promote the neighborhood and get traffic to this area, but I'm also going to be able to represent you and provide you service that's far and far above what the competitors, because one of the biggest things and issues in my area is we have big corporate builders where you're not going to get that type of relationship built. And then you have a bunch of small builders that are awesome but they have like these 2% or 1% limited representation agreements with like the three or four realtors in town where they don't want to pay them anything. And then they wonder why their houses sit forever. Right. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Exactly. And we face the same thing here. We don't have those. We don't necessarily have many of the big, the big, you know, Horton, you know, those type builders. We don't have the big ones like that, but we do have a ton of small builders around here. And, Mm -hmm. and so that's just been my thing though, is like, it's very easy for me to walk in and say, Hey, if you find another realtor that can provide what I, I provide, then I'm more than well, will, willing to have the conversation, you know, like let's, let's talk about different things, but, but there really is no one that can do what we do here at, at our agency. And so, and, and that's the other side of all this is we started a, uh, our, our own brokerage, you know, again, I'm only a year and a half into this, but we started a brokerage. We have a broker, uh, there's three partners in it. And, um, and so that's our whole goal with our broker, just to provide this service for our agents, any agent who joins us to be like, hey, you have the same access to the marketing company that's here within our building uh, to go out and film all these videos and tell builders that you can you know, do all their marketing at no cost and all these different things. And so uh, it's been a, it's been a really unique uh, situation that we got going. So it's pretty cool. Wow. I love that. And just for our viewers and listeners out there, this is something maybe to take in consideration because you can leverage your past efforts for future successes or do what Eric is doing. And I think that's super smart, Eric, because now you've found yourself a sub segment of what you're doing and, and, and a value prop for it to be a win-win for all parties, which is absolutely phenomenal. I think that's really, really cool. And I think that could be today's, today's highlight of the episode, right? Like leverage, if you leverage other opportunities to grow your YouTube channel and maximize all opportunities like showcasing two amazing homes and also the area at the same time, which then people can then see those videos on YouTube and it can turn into so much more. I absolutely love that. I think that's super, super strategic. There's yeah, there's two buckets that I think are the most un- underestimated or not understood by realtors when it comes to YouTube, which is paid search and organic search mm-hmm. and Sponsored ads, you know, getting traffic to your YouTube channel, running YouTube ads, running Facebook ads to push people back to your YouTube, all of that social bridging, but also the organic search. When you're doing good content that people are actually searching in your local area, people are going to find your videos. So right. uh, we have tons of people out there that are teaching some component of that. But I think mm-hmm. what you're doing specifically is like find your ideal client, build a platform and a program around them then showcase how you're going to operate and advertise and market on platforms like YouTube and then take it and use it as a marketing tool to absorb more clients. (laughs) So exactly. I love that. 
Yeah. Yeah. And that's, that's just been the goal. And, and so, you know, we do these neighborhood videos and of course, I mean, I work with still work with normal residential homes. Um, yep. but the, the neighborhood videos really help with that. That's been something that's been really cool. And I make them, um, people can see it on my YouTube channel. Um, but I make these neighborhood videos very HGTV, try to make it like a, like a TV show, like really entertaining. Um, and so it, it's these, I mean, I'm doing stupid stuff. There's one that's, uh, literally talk about the concrete roads and i'm like here's different ways i like to get around the concrete roads and i like do some stupid power walk thing like it's just dumb but it's entertaining in and of itself where people are like okay i, I like this guy he's normal and that's that's really my goal is like how normal can i be and not be like the stuffy real estate agent that has to wear the suit and tie and do the thing i mean nothing against i mean i'll wear a suit jacket if i need to but it's i just don't want to be that guy where it's like oh i'm going to event i better better put my best act forward when it's like, no, nah, dude, I just want to be myself, which has been kind of my main advantage here is just being me. Like I'm just, I'm wearing a flat bill hat with some Jordans right now. Like it's just who I am, you know? <laughs> the last thing I'm going to say, I'll pass it back to Norm so we can end this is that I was listening to a podcast about three weeks ago and this guy's on there, super traditional agent talking about, and the guy interviewed him is like, Hey, I think, you know, a good portion of your success is like your team is always dressed to the nines and you're like, you're, you're, you know, you're always dressed for success. And I agreed to some capacity of what he was trying to ac accomplish with the conversation. But I was sitting there. I was like, now the new evolution of the realtor is that people want to know your personality. People don't want to feel like they're underdressed when they're having a conversation with you in a driveway of a house. Exactly. And I think if you're not yeah. in Beverly Hills or like a hundred million dollar house, what are you doing? Yeah, <laughs> so exactly. There's a lot of highlight to what you just said. Yeah, I love that. I think it also ties into like, what is, what is Dan? What is Eric? What is like, whatever, you know, whatever your vibe is, if it's Jordan's and a flat bill hat and then all, all good. Like I usually do the bow tie thing. So go whoever's listening and viewing and I'll go with whatever, you know, is true to yourself and your heart and what you think is best for you. Um, so I like how things are shifting now in 2023, which is awesome. So, so Eric, we're at the part of the show now where we love to be able to, if anyone's out there looking to start a YouTube channel, maybe doesn't really have the leverage, but wants to, wants to get out there, wants to really be able to do something to be them. What are some, some, some ideas, some suggestions, some things for them to think about as they embark upon this journey moving forward as we close out our show today? For sure. The biggest thing I would say is way too many people think they have to have all the expensive equipment, all the, you know, crazy things that they see on YouTube channels when there are a lot there, there's an agent in our town um, that makes videos, puts them on YouTube, just has a cell phone, kind of walks, drives through the neighborhood with her phone out the window type situation. And it's looking like it's working pretty great for, her, you know, uh, but, but the power of phones right now, if you can, if you can learn just a little bit, just take just YouTube, literally YouTube, how to make videos with your phone, real estate videos yes. with your phone. There's a ton of content out there for sure. And I mean, I've got this, I just got this new thing. It's by small rig is the, is the company that makes it, but it's basically this little, it, it's a handheld deal like this. It has a light, it has a microphone, it's a stabilizer. It has a tripod on it. I mean, it's just this whole setup. It's metal. It's really cool. It was 169 bucks. And if you look at my YouTube channel and look at some of the videos recently that I've made, if I'm not in the shot, uh, more than likely I made it with my cell phone. And so if I'm in the shot, I have, you know, professional videographer using a red camera and it, yeah, it is expensive, but this way, uh, th these are, are literally my cell phone. And I just go out to, that's another idea is to some, when I got my start, I didn't have anything for three months. I literally did not sell. Didn't, I didn't, I didn't have any business for three months, but people, assumed I was killing it in real estate. I literally heard that Ooh. over and over and over. Dude, looks like you're killing it in real estate. It's because I had billboards and it's because I kept making videos of anything I could think of. So I would call people who uh, other agents who had listings and say, Hey, can I go make a video at your house and just share it and try to find you a buyer? And of course in the, you know, in the little feed, I'd put listed by the other person, mm -hmm. not me. I'm not trying to pretend it's mine, but the content was mine. And so I would go around and video these things and just, and people be like, wow, they love that video that you made. Da, 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 da. And I'm like, cool. I literally made it with my cell phone. So wow. if you can just learn how to do those things, it's just two things, cell phone and some app that's super easy. There's an app called InShot. It's probably my favorite app that I use on, yep. my, on my phone or my iPad. Um, but it's so easy to edit on there. You don't, I mean, of course I've got all the other 
Adobe Premiere and Final Cut and all those other things. But like just the speed in which you can make a video and have it on YouTube these days that's still pretty decent is really good if you can just go and look up how to do it. So just spend some time wow. studying, learning, and uh, you can start by doing anything. That video right there in your top left corner, it's literally uh, a dude building a sign at one of the – yep, at one of the uh, – uh, the developments that we're working with, with one of these builders that have gave us the whole development. And I literally was out there one day, I was actually picking up some old signs that were out there and they were building the new uh, neighborhood sign. So I was like, well, I got my little small rig thing. I just got it out of my truck, walked up there. I was like, Hey, I'm going to film you real quick. I don't think he spoke English. He was like, eh, and then just <laughs> did it anyway, uh, so I filmed it and then just literally put that video up and it took me 15 minutes to film it, edit it and get it on Instagram you know, shorts, all, all that, all, every other place that I put it. So it, it really wow. can be done with speed as long as you just learn how to do it. I love that. I love that. I think the biggest thing, my takeaway is just do it. It takes 30, 60, 90 days, sometimes to form a habit. So definitely, I think anyone who's viewing and listening out there, like just remembering to pick up your phone and film something. And I love Eric, what you said, just like, Hey, reach out to anyone out there that has listings, ask to op hold their open house, ask if you can find them a buyer, ask them if you could use it, the, the house that they have listed as a prop and make sure, of course, you give them the, the credits that are due because it is their listing. And what is it? Fake it till you make it? I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah <laughs> for like sure. I mean, you just got to just do right? it, you know? It's a That's great awesome. practice when you're practicing on something that you don't have to sell. So <laughs> it's a good, it's a good way to do it. I love but I will that. say one, one last thing I'll say there with all that yeah. is one of my favorite quotes. And I just, I, I live by this quote. It's by a guy named Craig Rochelle. He's one of my favorite leaders in the world. Um, but his quote is successful people do consistently what others do occasionally. And that mm -hmm. quote right there is the thing that I just mm -hmm. literally live by. If you can just start doing it and keep doing it, like it's going to work as long as you just, just consistently keep doing it over and over and over, it's going to eventually work. So that's kind of my whole goal with YouTube and everything is, you know, right now I'm kind of in the very beginning stages. Um, yeah. I appreciate you guys reaching out to me to, to do this, even though I'm in of such course. a young stage of YouTube, but it's one of those things that like, I, I'm really just going to be consistent. That's just my whole goal and the whole thing. I love that, Eric. And that's why we wanted you on. And we would love to have you back on in 12 months and see the progression of your channel, other strategies, techniques, things that have came up for you, things that you've learned. And that's what we want to do here, Real Estate First Tech, is help our audience and the viewers and listeners out there really be able to think of new, different, strategic ways to grow their real estate business as we have a lot of real estate professionals who listen to the show. And we believe YouTube could be it. So we really yeah. appreciate you being on today, Eric, and uh, looking forward to air our show. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Of course. Dan, as always, thanks for, for co-hosting. Yeah, for sure. I just added you, Eric, just shared you on Instagram and uh, I'm following you on LinkedIn. I mean, let's stay connected. This is awesome. Awesome. Sounds great. And then you'll have to play that Martin for me one day. I have to hear that. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Let's, let's go. And thank you to all of our viewers and listeners, as it is our intention for you to take things for episode apply to business have more massive success. Subscribe, hit the notification bell, combo with any feedback that you uh, received from today's episode, and we will see you on the next one.